Hi! Welcome to this video introduction of the Cards in Common. I wanted to have two videos to introduce this game. One, I wanted a story, context, how it happened video. And then I wanted a mechanics, how to play introduction video. So this is the story video. The how to play video is going to be available for you. Links in the description. So this one is to tell a story as to how this game came about and what it feels like. How there is a story to tell, and I think it's a good one. So this is to tell it to you. Uh, my name is Mathieu Riome. I am the founder of Metacara Montreal, and I created this game. Co-created because there's 50 different people that created cards for it, but mechanically, the shape of the game is me and my team. Um, this so. Let's start with, we'll go with, down a series of questions, potentially strong questions, to be able to give some perspective on this story. So, question one, how did this thing come about? The story is that I was approached to document the World Social Forum that came to Montreal in the summer of 2016. And my curiosity was, is it possible to create a, an artifact of documentation with this uh, opportunity that would at once show that the World Social Forum happened, that the common space happened inside of the World Social Forum, but also that the end result isn't a pure either a report or, or purely aesthetic, um, but it, it, it's, a, it's an object that ends up serving, uh, actively going forward the community of practice around commoning. And if it's possible to do that, what would it look like? So, documentation, and the creation of a tool, kind of doing both at once. Uh, I have a long-standing relationship with cards as a medium, like a, a container of information. I think cards are outstandingly interesting. Uh, and so I was thinking, can we have people's learnings be uh, committed to cards? So people go to the World Social Forum, they go through the common space, they learn stuff about commons, they get excited about projects, they uh, they, they, they think of actions that they could do when they go back home or they learn about new problems for commoning and commoners. Uh, well, why not take all that learning and put it on a card format? So what I did is I created this, this harvest paper, which was, so this is the card format here. And I won't read the steps, but essentially people put uh, titles, titles, uh, drawing, drawing, <laughs> and a description on this page, and then it turns into something like, yeah, a card on community. Um, so this was one of the participants at the World Social Forum had maybe recognized within themselves the need for community as being a catalyst for change uh, in the movements that we have, that we have in mind. And so, total? about 50, a bit less, I think it's like 48, 49 participants created in total 250 cards. And from these 250 cards, we then made a selection that was relevant to a game design that was pre-established, like a, a, a kind of game that would be coherent with the comments. So we, we, we made a selection of 120 cards that ended up building the Cards in Common, which now totally exists as a thing. Also created a conversation space via a wiki that, again, links are available in the description, uh, where it would be, you can go get additional information on cards and you could also submit any, uh, any, any uh, knowledge that you've gained on the game itself, problems that you noticed, uh, like I, I found already one spelling mistake in the French version. Oops. Uh, so there's a place on the website to be able to submit these mistakes so as to keep track of versions and to help us, all of us, build zero, version 1.01 and 1.02 and move forward together with this uh, tool. Um, the game itself is a collaborative political card game. Uh, two to five players work together to build a resilient and powerful civil society to fight off uh, oppression and oppressive forces. So you have enclosures that you fight against and crises, social crises, that, that uh, threaten the resilience 
of the civil society we're building. And then we mobilize uh, political actions and projects and resources as a means of building something that um, helps the world move forward. So it's, a, it's colored to be about progressive social change issues. Mechanically, it doesn't have the actual complexity of politics. So uh, political geeks amongst us might be a bit disappointed in its uh, uh, simplicity. It, it really has like a very clear uh, kind of like narrative positioning that it is like progressive, uh, common action is good. And then, and then all the enclosures that have been bad. Please make your way to the how to play video just out of curiosity to see what kind of a game it is. I'm really looking forward to continuing this conversation there. And otherwise I see you online. And potentially during the next couple of years, continuing to build this uh, documentation, playful documentation resource that we have now, cards in common. Bye.